Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hello. I can hear you. Okay, that's nice. And Nelson, hey, good evening. Uh, how are you? So uh, today I'm now going to present the generalities and the general information, the general instructions, because we have uh, to run with the with all the topics that we want to finish, right? Because this week we are going to finish the, the, the course. So we're going to move on uh, to the, okay, directly to to, 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 what do you remember about yesterday? Uh -huh. Something you remember about yesterday, but was raining, of course. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sorry for the raining yesterday. I couldn't uh, hear you very well. And also you couldn't uh, hear me very well, right? So uh, something you remember about yesterday, any vocabulary or something? Hmm? Any word? Hello, hello? Yes. Maritza, hello Maritza. You are working. Are you working Maritza? Hola, hola, Maritza. Hola, hi. Hello. In your house. Or oh, you are not in your house. Huh? In your house. Excuse me, teacher. You are in your house or at work. Mm -mm, in my work. Ah, in your work. Ah, really? Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so how are you, Maritza? Everything good? Good? Uh, fine, teacher. Ah, okay, I... that's nice. Good. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so okay, so uh, we were talking about the past models, right? Sure, welcome. Okay, so we were talking about, yesterday we were talking about past models. And in the past models, okay, so we have uh, a different uh, models. For example, we have a um, chu, gu, wu, and so on, right? So uh, I'm going to share the screen. Let me see new share. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. Teacher, uh, yes? I have a question. I have a question. Uh, in, the, in English, uh, no hay que confundir la cuestión del. del, 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 del 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 modo del verbo del del modal que decir que es un tiempo verbal verdad o sea porque eso no es un tiempo verbal sino que solo es un modo ajá uh -huh. yes 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 <laughs> it's uh, yeah ajá uh -huh. miss ajá Yes. <laughs> o, sea que uh, está, o sea que estamos hablando, teacher, de que en inglés no existen tanto el, los, los modos verbales así como en español, sino, o sea, los tiempos verbales, perdón, así como en español, sino que en inglés son, son, son modos verbales, que eso uh, es una cosa diferente. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> so, um, because you have a, this one as a model, right? So these ones are not uh, tenses. Uh, the tenses that we have in English, uh, they are, let me see, six, nine, 12. We have uh, a 12 tenses. And so I want to send you a, a, a picture to the WhatsApp group. Uh, so you, we have uh, the uh, present tense, uh, the, the simple tenses that are present, past, and future, right? The simple tenses. Then after that, we have a, uh, um, after that, we have the the past. Let me see. The no. Then we have a, okay. We have a present, past, and future, right? So in present, past, and future, we have a, the present continues, the past continues, and the future continues. After that, we have a, the perfect tenses. We have a, the present perfect, the past perfect, and the future perfect. And then we have uh, the uh, perfect continuous tenses. It's present, perfect continuous, past, perfect continuous, and future, uh, perfect continuous. And fíjese que casualmente, uno de estos días vi una imagen 
y se las quería compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero no me acuerdo, creo que por enviarles otras ya no se las compartí. Let, let, me, let me look for it. And I want to send it to the WhatsApp group. And here, there you have explanation about the tenses. Okay, yes, but you are right. So they are not, the, the models, they are not tenses. They are just models. <laughs> yes, you are right. Aquí creo que la encontré. Aquí está. Okay, I see. Well, it's kind of blurry because it's a small, it's a, a picture, but maybe you can watch it later on. Okay, here we go. Okay. So in the picture that I sent you, ahí la pueden hacer más grande. So you have the present simple, the past simple, the future simple. De ahí tiene los continuous, present, past, and future continuous. De ahí tiene los perfect, present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect. De ahí tiene los present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, and future perfect continuous. E y esos son los 12, los 3, the 12 tenses that you have in English. Okay? Los tiempos eh, son esos 12, y solamente esos 12. De ahí estos, como decía Juan David, son, no son tiempo, ¿verdad? El should have, el would have, el could have, estos son uh, solamente eh, modales. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Es clear, David? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Oh, ok. You work many times. Ok, so, uh, give me a Ok, so, we are going to continue. We have a homework about this one, right? Eh, she shouldn't have driven to work today, right? Ella no debió haber conducido al trabajo hoy, usando shouldn't, right? In these cases, we have a shouldn't. Um, let's see. I'm going to remark this. Okay, uh, okay. So we have a shouldn't, and then we have a have. Then we have, oops. <laughs> and then we have a have, and then we have a the very past participle, right? So, um, so we need three verbs as, as the other ones, right? So she, sure. uh, why is Alice upset? She thinks she shouldn't have driven to work today. She should have taken the, the train, right? Y les quedaron de tareas estas from the number three to eight, right? Sí o no? <laughs> for example, yeah. okay, so uh, for example, in the number one, so why is Carl upset? Uh, he thinks he shouldn't have bought a typewriter. She should have gotten a computer, right? So in the number two is Donna. Why is Donna upset? She thinks she shouldn't have taken advanced French last semester. She should have taken beginning French, right? So uh, for the number three, I'm going to try to larger this, okay. So for the number three, um, what, what do you think? So you have a you, good vegetable, a stew for my guests and make a salad, you have. So for the number three, what do you think is the possible answer? Sure, excuse me, in, my, in this moment, it's it raining in my, in my sector. Okay. Ah, okay, it's okay, no problem. So uh, in the number three, so we have uh, the verse, what are the verse in the number three? Oops. Uh -huh. We have a cook, we have a make, right? So, uh, okay, let me see who, okay, okay. And here it started to rain too. <laughs> so uh, let's see who, um, so Geraldine, de casualidad no hizo la tres. Geraldine? Mm. No. Eh, no hice otra, ticha. Ah, ¿cuál hizo? Ahorita le digo, eh, con los. Ahorita, permítame. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Uh, hice esta. In effect, yesterday I couldn't be in class, especially because I have a uh, migraine resting definitely help me. Eh, esas ah. oraciones ah, ah, usando los otros, ¿verdad? O sea, Ajá, está bien. Sí, está bien, no problem, no problem, ok. Now, here, right now, we have uh, these ones, um, so you have uh, the names, uh, for example, here, Alice, la, van a hacer la misma pregunta, pero en vez de Alice, 
lo cambiaría por car, lo cambiaría por dona, ¿verdad? Y aquí, este, si es hombre o mujer, entonces aquí le va a poner he or she. He or she, okay. right? Or they. Depends according with what uh, you are talking, who you are talking about. And the verb dri driven to work today lo va a cambiar por by a typewriter, pero el verbo va a ir en pasado participio. Y en vez de the trained, va a poner que en la segunda oración, ¿verdad? Pero en pasado participio, el verbo. El, la primera palabra es el verbo. So, uh, for example, the number three, uh, who has the number three? ¿Quién ha hecho el de casualidad la número tres? ¿Mm? The number one, teacher me. Sorry. The number okay. one. Okay, Norma. Okay, go ahead. Why is car to step? He thinks he stolen a fire. Get a computer. Uh -huh. Got in a computer. Got it. Okay. okay, very good, Norma. Thank you so much. Okay, the number three. Cook vegetable stew for my guest. It says you, right? And make a salad. Entonces, aquí sería, eh, si es you, why are you upset? Sería, why are you upset? I think, I think, porque es sujeto you. So, you have to use uh, the subject. Uh, in the study, you have to use I. I think I shouldn't have cooked vegetable stew for my guest, right? I should have made a salad, right? I should have made a salad. El, los verbos nos va a poner en past participle. The ver, all the verbs that you have at the beginning of the sentences in past participle. So the number four, who, who wrote the number four? You and your wife, it says, right? Entonces aquí sería, el sujeto sería we. Porque dice tú y tu esposa, tú y tu esposo. You and your wife, you and your husband. So the study is we. See a movie last night. Stay home. So the very see and stay. So the past participle for C. What is the past participle for C? For the very see, what is the past participle? Seen. Seen, okay, very good. Thank you, Sandra. And for stay, irregular, verb. Stayed, right? Entonces, ¿cómo les quedaría aquí la, la, la pregunta? Les queda, why are you and your wife upset? Right? Why are you upset? Why are you and your wife upset? And the answer, ¿cómo les quedaría la respuesta? We think we shouldn't have seen a movie last night. Uh -huh. uh, we should have a stay at home and watch TV. Excellent, very good. Thank you so much. Nice, very good. Okay, so the number five. Where gyms, the bird is wear gyms. And, and the other part is wear a suit, right? Wear a suit. So you have worn, right? So you have a, the past is wore and the past the participle is worn. Entonces, ¿cómo les quedaría? Um, so the answer for this one, for the number five. So the name is Michael. So what, what it would be the question? In, instead of Alice, you have to use Michael. The question is? Why is Michael upset? Yes, thank you, Sandra. Why is Michael upset? Okay, very good. Michael upset. Okay, he thinks he shouldn't. Have, have war gyms without interview today. He yes. should have worn a suit. Uh -huh. He should have worn a suit. A suit, right? <laughs> suit. Suit es dulce. Suit es traje. Este es suit traje. Okay, yes. He shouldn't wear gyms to a job interview today. He should. Had one a suit. Excellent, very good. Now you have here a go. What is the past participle for go? Went. Gone. Gone. Uh -huh. Gone, um, right? Gone. Gone, uh -huh. gone right? Uh -huh. And the subject is a Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Mr. and Mrs. Parker. So yes. uh, the question what is? Why? why are? Why are they upset? Uh -huh. What are they upset? They think, 
they, they in, they should. They shouldn't Jewish. They should shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't shouldn't have gone on a safari for their vacation. Uh -huh. They should have. They should have uh, gone to the beach. Excellent, right? They shouldn't uh, have gone on a safari for their vacation. They should have gone to the beach. Excellent, very good, nice. Okay, now, number seven. The number seven, if you have a Jennifer, write her composition on the bus, right? What is the past participle for right? Huh? Written. Written, right? Written. Okay. Can you read it, please? Well, can you read it? Can you hold me? Me, teacher. Okay, me the, the, uh, the number seven and the um, number eight. Okay. I did. Uh huh. Can you read them, please? Okay, the number seven say, why, why is Jennifer upset? Huh? She thinks she shouldn't have written her composition on the bus. Huh? She should have done done it at home. Okay, it's okay. Huh? And the number okay. eight. And the number eight. Why is Eric upset? He thinks he shouldn't have eaten an entire cake. For dessert, huh? he should have had just one piece. Should have, excellent. He should have had just one piece, right? In this case, just one piece. Okay. Thank you. Should have, sería should have had. Sería H A D, verdad? Should have had one piece. One piece. Okay. Very good. Right now, uh, uh, you're gonna help me to read this paragraph. Now, uh, how about this paragraph that I'm going to? I wanna send it. Give me a second. Okay, in the paragraph. Si lo ven? Yes. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna send. Oh. So, uh, give me two seconds. Okay, now in the paragraph, uh, you have uh, ayudando a leer. So it's a reading. So uh, can you start? Let's see who. Quiero ver a Sir. Carla Melissa Colocho. Hello, Carla. Hello. Today. Okay. Uh, Patricia Margarita Castillo. Okay. The first paragraph. Can you help me to read this? Okay. They didn't do as well as they should have. Barry didn't do as well as he should have at a, a job interview today. He didn't get the job. And he now realizes, realizes that he should have done a few things differently. He should have spoken more confidently. He should have told more about his previous experience. And he probably should have worn more conservative clothes. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Okay. Sandra? In, in addition, he shouldn't have a real Late for his appointment, he shouldn't have asked a question only about vacation. And six, six days, and he definitely shouldn't have eaten his lunch in the interview office. Barry will certainly do few things differently the next time he has a job interview. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Sandra, right? Me tuve que cambiar de cuarto porque se escucha la lluvia bien fuerte. Okay, so, uh, thank you so much. Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Questions so far? No. 
So, uh, so I'm gonna ask you some questions. So Barry Eden is uh Eden is speak confident? Yes or no? Huh? Barry didn't speak confidently? No. No, he didn't. Yes. No. No, he no he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. No. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can okay. hear you. Okay, perfect. You see can I can move this? Okay, now what about uh can you mention, let me see who, can you mention another thing that happened with Larry? Can you remember? Geraldine, can you say something about Barry's interview? Mm -hmm. okay. No, no, teacher. <laughs> okay. No, o sea, eh, ¿qué más, qué más le pasó a, a Barry in the Joe interview? Ah, someone sent a chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, Patricia, espera, espera. Okay. Hello, hello. Si ¿Sí se me escucha. Yes. Ah, okay, very good. Yes, yes. Okay. So, what happened with Larry's interview? Uh, so, he was uh, confident. He arrived late. ¿Qué le pasó a Larry en la, en la entrevista de trabajo? The interview was a mess. <laughs> yes. Interview was a mess. A disaster. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> yes. Okay. Have you ever had a similar in job interview? Or no? Never? No. No. Okay. So, very okay. So, uh, David? Hello, David. It's David. Huh? Ah, it's, it's raining where he lives, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, Norma Elizabeth. Hello, Norma. So, what happened with Larry in the interview? Hello, teacher. Hi. Can you mention something about La Barry's interview? Uh -huh. ¿Podría mencionar algo de la entrevista uh, de Larry? You are more concerned. Ah. Mm, ah, okay. The show have were more convert, convert, conservative clouds. Clouds, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we are going to move to this. Now, what should you do if you want to do well at a job interview, right? What should you, pueden verlo? Can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. what yes, should you want to do well at a job interview? What should you talk about? What should you ask about? What should you wear? What should you take with you? When should you arrive? In your answers, try to use should, right? Should is equal a person, a person should, or you should, right? So mm -hmm. what are you gonna do? I'm gonna give you one minute to answer these questions for talking about a job interview, right? So you have to answer these questions Imagine that you are in a job interview and you, um, what you have to do for getting the job, right? Is clear what are you going to do? Answer the question. Hola Maritza, casi no la escucho. Nice. Hola Maritza. Hi Maritza. Okay, okay, Norma, no problem. O se han fijado que cabal... Eh, ah, okay, José Alejandro. Se eh, han fijado que cabal cuando está matando la clase se viene el agua. <laughs> bueno, that happens to me yesterday because at six that I was free, eh, I was looking for some information and it didn't rain. Uh, so, but when I started the class, after, after 20 minutes, the, the rain started 
now, today, again. Okay, but it's okay. So it's clear what are you going to do? You're gonna answer these questions. So uh, so imagine that you are in a job interview, right? Or you are going to be in a job interview. So interview, so you're gonna answer these questions. Clear? It's clear? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you one minute. Entonces voy a traer el lo que dejé allá en el otro cuarto. Okay, answer the question. Okay. Okay, try to answer the question. Okay, so it's raining heavy here in uh, Rona. Sorry, teacher, I can hear you as well. Okay, Rona. Okay, Rona, right now we are answering those questions, these questions, right? The questions that you have here. Here you, here, these questions. Okay. Eh, Hoy se me escuchó, Ronald, o no, no me escuchó nada. Hello, Ronald. Uy. All right. Hello? Hello, hello. I'm gonna send uh, the questions to the WhatsApp group. Okay, here we go. Oh, you cannot see me, right? Okay. Okay, uh, ahí están las preguntas. You have the questions in the WhatsApp group as, as well, right? So, uh, what should you talk about in a job interview? Uh huh. What should you talk about in a job interview? Yes, yes, Geraldine. Uh, about my work experience, okay. my skill, my knowledge of the job. Excellent. Yes, very good. Nice. Okay, so uh, now what about the second one? What should you ask about? What should you ask about? Hmm, I'm gonna choose a volunteer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eh, uh, Joanna asked for permission, right? Jose Alejandro as well. Ingrid mm -hmm. Maricela Flores. Or Lucia Elena. No sé si está, are you available Hi, right now? Hi, Ingrid. Uh, now in the number two, what should you ask about in a job in interview? It would be a, it would be okay if you talk about the salary. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I uh, he should about employment. Uh huh. Okay. The try. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's it's that's good. Now the number three, what should you wear? What should you wear in a job interview? 
Ajá, eh, lo vamos a ver. Margarita Vigay. Yes. Patricia Margarita. Okay, oh, was... my God. I should, I should wear um, a skirt or formal pants with high heels. Okay, yes, formal clothes, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, okay, thank you so much. And uh, so, what are you going to do? I am going to send you to the breakout rooms. Uh, to some of you, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you're going to discuss these questions. Uh, I'm going to give you four minutes for discussing those questions. Who is going to ask? Eh, ¿Quién va a preguntar? Bueno, pues, eh, si quieren, preguntan todos o una pregunta cada uno, ¿ok? So, um, some of you are not going to be in the breakout rooms, so eh, you are going to be here in the, in the principal uh, rooms, right? So, create breakout rooms. How many are you today? Uh, let me see. I, I don't see how many are you today. Okay, you are around 20 something, right? 20, 23, 24. Okay, well, let's see, create four breakout rooms, okay? Let's see. Okay, so, yes, four. Yes, four breakout rooms, okay, give me a few seconds. Okay. So only, let me see, vamos a ver, eh, Maritza, no se vaya a agregar, Maritza, ¿quién más? Maritza, eh, ok, Maritza, no se vaya a ir al breakout room, tampoco no se vaya a ir este, quiero ver, who else? Eh, Maritza, Maritza Elizabeth Rojas, no, ok, no se vaya a ir. Tampoco eh, Joana Michelle Cetino. Keep here, right? Eh, Joana Michelle, Maritza, Mónica Reyes. Mónica Reyes. ¿Y cuál es? ¿Cuál Patricia es? ¿Cuál Patricia? Quiero ver. <ríe> ok, let me see. Ok, Patricia Esmeralda García. Don't move she's, to the break room. She's not able. She's not able. Ah, okay. Because she, she says she's taking care of her her girl, her child. Yes, 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 it's true. She, she has me. fever yes. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's uh, his baby she's, sick, she's right? sick, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so, uh, okay. Lucia Elena. Si, si, eh, tampoco no se vaya. Sandra Elizabeth, Lucia Elena. Eh, Stephanie Saraya, I think she's busy. But if it is possible, Irma Adriana. En Mirna y Annette. No se van a ir a los breakout rooms. Ok, what are you going to discuss? Eh, the question that you have here in the job interview, right? One question, one answer. One question, other person, another question, other person, another answer. Eh, I need one of you project in your breakout rooms the questions, right? Uh, the, break the questions you have it in the WhatsApp, ok? Eh, for example, vamos a ver aquí. In the room number one, eh, no sé si Juan David las puede proyectar, las preguntas. I think he's okay. Milagro, can you in the in the your breakout room? I can try, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm gonna send you to a breakout room, and can you project the question that you have in the WhatsApp in your in your room? Okay. 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 And the number two, uh, Mary and Daniela, can you project them? The last picture that I sent to the WhatsApp group, Mary and Daniela. Yes. Yes, okay. I can project. Okay, in your breakout room, right? Yeah. And in the number three, no sé si las puede proyectar. Eh, Jose Alejandro, are you available? Oh, he, he's working, right? Okay, Stephanie Saray, ¿será que las puede proyectar las preguntas? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Stephanie Saray. And the number four, Geraldine, ¿será que puede proyectarlas usted? En el breakout room, number four. Yes? La número cuatro. Eh, la última imagen de WhatsApp. La va a proyectar en los breakout rooms que voy a crear ahorita. Okay? ¿Ok? So, you are going to move to the breakout rooms for four minutes. Only for four or five minutes. Los únicos que no se van a ir al breakout room son eh, Maritza. Maritza. Maritza, who else? Eh, Sandra, no se vaya a ir. Maritza, Lucía Elena, no se vaya a ir. Sandra, eh, ¿qué más dije? No me acuerdo. Irma, Mirna, Janet. 
Carlos José Asensio, no se va a ir al break up room, please. Ok, only that. Ok, de ahí los demás, sí. So you have to move to the break up rooms. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ok, faltan en los grupos. Ya se pueden unir. En el grupo 3 falta Irma Adriana, José Alejandro, Maritza Elizabeth, Norma Elizabeth. Que practican las preguntas. En el grupo 4 ya eh, falta Joana, falta Nelson Adán. En el grupo 2 falta eh, Kevin Josías, Mirna Janet, Mónica Reyes, Ronald Alexis. To move to the breakup room, to talk up, to ask the questions. En el grupo número 1 me falta Carlos José Asensio. Ah, perdón, los que, los que dije que se quedaran se quedan aquí. Ok, so Patricia Esmeralda García Funes, you have to move to the breakup room. Sandra Elizabeth. Ah, no, Patricia Esmeralda, you are going to, you are going to stay here, right? Ok, so one of your classmates is going to project eh, the questions. So, let's see. Uh, vamos a ver, Lucía Elena, ¿le puede hacer la primera pregunta a Sandra Elizabeth? This question. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. What should you talk about? Uh -huh. In a in a job interview. In a job interview. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What should you talk about in a job interview, uh, Sandra? Mm -hmm. Sandra, dijo. Okay. Ooh, let me see. Oh. Uh -huh. What you should talk about? Eh, se me fue, se me fue Maritz. Eh. Uh -huh. <ríe> eh, se fue Sandra. Ok, what you should talk about? Patricia Esmeralda, no sé si puede contestar. Hello, Patricia. Hello, hello. Hello. Carlos José Asensio, can you answer? Hello, Carlos. Hello, hello. Can you answer the question, Carlos Asensio? Carlos José Asensio? Okay, what about Ronald? Hello, Ronald, Ronald, Ronald Alexis. Are you busy? Uh -huh. ¿Quién puede contestar? Okay, in a job interview, you should uh, talk about uh, your abilities. Also, you should talk about your... Your skills. Your skills. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Lucia Elena. Okay. Vamos a ver quién más. Uh, Ronald is not available right now, right? Ronald, Ronald, Ronald. Maybe he's working. Okay. Kevin Josias. Hello, Kevin. Are you available? Hello, Kevin. Okay, Norma is, uh, you cannot talk, right, Norma? Okay, uh, Lucia, can you ask me the question? Question number uh, two. Uh, yes. I show. Hi. I show so about work experience. Uh-huh. Work experience, uh -huh, very good, work experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent, thank you, Norma. Eh, vamos a ver quién más. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas, are you busy, Maritza? Hello? Hello, hello? Está ocupada, Maritza Elizabeth? Hello? Busy or not busy? <laughs> Me voy a ir al otro. Because it's not raining anymore. Bien, okay, so. Can, who can answer the next one? The next, the number, the question number four. Ajá. Comentario para responder la cuarta. Oh, only one volunteer. Uh, number two, teacher. 
Yes, the number two. Uh -huh. Or the one that put it up. What show you ask about? Uh huh. What? Okay. The the time of experience in other job. Uh huh. <clears throat> yes. Uh -huh. Okay, the experience about other jobs, right? Yes. Thank you, Lucia. Yeah. Thank you so much for your participation. <clears throat> okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, quiero ver quién más tal vez contesta. Nelson is working, right, Nelson? Okay. Kevin, Kevin Josia, he's trying to connect. Maybe it's raining a lot where he lives. Okay. Uh, let's see. Norma, you are not available, right? Okay, so I'm gonna close the the all the rooms because if not, we are going to, we are not going to have time for the other activities, okay? okay? In one minute. So all the all the breakup rooms will be. So uh, how are you, Lucia? Everything good so far? Uh, yes. Yes, it's okay. Okay, so what do you remember about yesterday's class? Tell us. ¿Qué recuerda? Oh, yes, for the uh, class. The sentences about uh, the exercise mm -hmm. when we use must, could be, uh -huh. should be. Yes. Um, Excellent. Uh -huh. Can you give me, can you give me an example using one moral, in one past moral, should have, should could, or should, should have wool, for example? Yes. Ah, un ejemplo cualquiera, Ajá, de los que vimos ayer. One example. One example. Yes. Um, um, ¿Ah? no I having... Yes. No, I don't. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. No problem. Mm. No. Okay. So we are gonna continue with the class. It's okay, Lucia. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Hey. Now we have a, this one uh, that we started yesterday, right? Ah, pero antes quiero revisarles la tarea. <laughs> okay. Now let's see where. Now can you tell me sentences using these words, right? Okay. Can you see them? Can you see the connectors? Wait, ahorita no. Okay, can you see them, the connectors? Yes? Yes, or no? Ah, yes. Okay. okay, so. Yes. Okay, so Milagros, can you tell us your examples? Oh. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. uh, the first example, hmm? let's start with firstly. Firstly, okay. I want to tell you I love you so much. But secondly, it's important to check your online shopping record. In <laughs> fact, <laughs> in fact, we need to review your monthly purchases, my okay. dear wife. <laughs> okay. That's nice. The second, okay. uh -huh, the second example is I will possibly be working tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, another welcome, volunteer. Sir. Another volunteer to tell me more examples. No sé si es Stephanie, una de las Stephanies. Ah, al voluntario. No sé quién levantó la mano. Geraldine, please. Okay. I I obviously have to get to work early. In fact, it's necessary. Okay. Yes, it's necessary. Uh -huh. It's necessary. Okay, that's it. Yes, right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Geraldine. Okay, eh, Patricia, no sé si quiere decir su ejemplo. Patricia, Patricia Castellanos, right? Patricia. <laughs> yes. Hello, hello. 
Okay. Okay. Norma Elizabeth. Okay. Go ahead, Norma. Bye. My son is on the valley. Uh, how do you say in the valley? Mm -hmm. the, the most beautiful of the world. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más quiere compartir sus eh, oraciones? Mi teacher. Ok, Marit Sandra, right? ¿Verdad? Si no me equivoco, es Sandra. Oh, Maritza, Elizabeth. Maritza, Pro. Maritza, perdón. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, in fact, today I have a night trip. Hmm? Uh, possibly, possibly tomorrow I will go to with, uh, okay. visit my father. Ok. Is it... my, your father. My father, your father. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's can, can I participate, teacher? Sure, Sorry, sure. I was my my microphone in. <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay, okay. Patricia. Okay, you I can have, participate. Okay, I went to Los Planes de Renderos today uh, to eat pupusas. Ah, okay. Uh, and it's a little bit far from my home. Then I uh, I got home um late today. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay. Uh, Teacher, I have a question. I'm yes, sorry. Please. Excuse me. Yes. What is your question? Tell the, us. the the connector. Um. In fact, I understand that we we Did? use it in the middle of, of, a, sentence. of a sentence. Yeah, not at the beginning. Uh huh. Is that uh, is that right or in, wrong? In formal in formal English, uh, uh, yes, you have to use it in the middle of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Informal. But remember that as any language you have, you can use the in fact at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. If you in formal English, right? But in the formal, yes, you are right. It will be in the middle. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Remember that all the languages they have sections and also they have a dialect or and they have a, a different connotations, right? So Sometimes we change. That's why the, the language is something alive because we use it and we transform, we change the different rules that we have, right? Okay. I send you, uh, uh, in the afternoon, I send you a video about the pronunciation, about the could have, okay? He could have, should have, and would have, right? Who yeah. have, the pronunciation, it, it could be could have, right? The, the 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 contraction form right could have right he could have gotten lost for 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 example in the movies sometimes we don't understand the context because they use the, those uh, contractions forms they use okay. those abbreviations right so uh, he could have gotten lost y ahí es cuando ya no les entendemos verdad cuando han utilizado la, las contracciones las abreviaciones right okay Ah, okay, so thank you, thank you. Uh, so can you volunteer to help me with the letter A and B? Uh, volunteer? Only read? Sí, yes, only read. Lucia, the letter A, please. And the letter a. B? And the letter okay. B, ¿quién? ¿Quién me ayuda con la letra B? Geraldine, can you? Letter B? Okay. okay. You're right. He could have gotten lost. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the letter A, Lucia, right? Oh, ya me, ya me la leyó. No. Okay. If you ask me, Jack should have gone hiking by himself in the mountain. Okay. Okay, you yes. Right. Mm -hmm. He couldn't have gotten lost. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. uh, so we have uh, here... I'm gonna give you the the first sentence as the other example. So you have uh, the the sentence, the, the the situation, and then you have to answer using could have in the very past participle as the other examples that we already have done. For example, here you have. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see Jim? in this one. So um, okay, Jenny. Yeah. Here we have the number five, Jenny. 
Use her computer during a thunderstorm. Be electrocuted, mm -hmm. electrocuted, right? So if you ask me, if you ask me, Jenny, who Should shouldn't it? have, shouldn't have Should used her computer during a thunderstorm, right? Shouldn't uh, have used her computer during a thunderstorm. You yes. are right, you are right. Uh, she could have, she could have been electrocuted, right? She could have been electrocuted. Another example. Okay. Okay, Anna, yellow, yeah, okay. Uh, another example about the number. Esto lo vamos a dejar siempre, ¿verdad? El, if you ask me, siempre va a ir. Siempre. You are right, también siempre va a ir. Lo que vamos a cambiar es el contexto. According with these examples. According with... Uh, according with this. Okay, for example, this one. Swing on the other side of the, of the lake. <laughs> okay? For example, you have this one. Move his piano by himself. Who? Jim. Okay, so if you ask me, Jim shouldn't have moved his piano by himself. En la primera oración vamos a utilizar shouldn't, right? Shouldn't. Y en la segunda oración, vamos aquí en la respuesta, vamos a usar could have. En este shouldn't, could have, could have, right? Could have. <coughs> Could have siempre es de los past models. Yes. <coughs> yes. Could have. <coughs> siempre. <laughs> so in the first sentence, oh you're going to use shouldn't have. <clears throat> y en la segunda, could, could have. Could have. Excellent. Excellent. <coughs> For example, you have, uh, you are right in the answer. Uh, he could have broken his back. Recordemos que el verbo siempre va a ir en pas, pas, pasado participio, in past participle, right? Okay, so what are you gonna do? You are gonna choose, you are gonna make uh, one of these ones <coughs> from the number one, two, or three. Va a escoger una y la va a hacer ahorita, ¿verdad? Okay. No matter what? No, no, no matter which ones. Uh -huh. Yes. So you can choose the one, the number two, and the number three. Okay, vamos a ver. Pero algunos sí les voy a asignar porque si no todos van a hacerlo. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, vamos a ver. Eh, Lucía, ¿será que me ayuda con la number one? Can you help me with the number one? Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, Geraldine, can you help me with... ¿Cuál está haciendo? <laughs> <laughs> number two, teacher. Okay, excellent, perfect, number two. Eh, Monique, ¿me ayuda con la número tres? Excellent, very good. Eh, bueno, de ahí los demás, las que quieran. Ok. Number one. Ok, yes. If you, if you ask me, Ajá. Gloria, Ajá. swim. Shouldn't have swam. Shouldn't have swam. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have swim to the other side of the lake. Ajá. Eh, ah, sí, ajá. De ahí va la respuesta. You are right. Right. Uh, you are right. Uh -huh. She, she could, could have, have uh, drowned. She could drowned. have drowned. Okay. Ella pudo. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, excellent. Very good, Lucia. Excellent. Very good. Uh, so in these ones, uh, you have, in, as Lucia said, you have the last reactions. Uh, you, okay. So you have, um, in the first sentence, shouldn't have in the very past participle, right? Shouldn't have swam. Con U, ¿verdad? And swam. so, <laughs> with letter U. So, and then you have a could have, the moral, the past moral could have, or could have drowned. Dice, si tú me preguntas, eh, Gloria, no debió uh -huh. haber nadado hasta el otro lado del lago. You are right, tienes razón. Ella pudo haberse ahogado, ¿ok? She could have drowned. Yeah. Okay, so for the number two. Um, if you ask me, Bill, hmm? uh, Billy, Billy should play basketball in the rain. Ah, okay. He yes. could have uh -huh. he played could have. in the rain. 
Uh -huh. She could she could have play. Ah, uh, um, play. Ah, uh, está todavía en la en la. Uh, he shouldn't have played baseball in the rain. Y la respuesta. All right. You're right. Uh -huh. You're right. He could have. He could play. have. Uh -huh. He could have played. Mm. Ok, uh, va. es que en la primera, esta play baseball in the rain, iría aquí, mire, iría aquí, donde estoy marcando ahorita, con ja, aquí, en vez de esto, en vez de esto iría eh, played baseball in the rain, aquí, y en esta de abajo iría cuffed, va, cut, él pudo haber obtenido, uh, cachado una mala gripe, ajá, ajá, no sé si me doy a entender. Uh, yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. O sea, tendría que poner el guiding. Sí, no, no, no. Eh, tendría que poner, eh, por, va, le voy a explicar otra vez. Aquí donde dice play baseball in the rain, es este, uh -huh. y aquí, este, Billy shouldn't have played play baseball in the rain, aquí, ¿verdad? Y la otra, uh -huh. la segunda, lo voy a poner de color verde. Okay. Eh, este que dice catch a bad cold, no, no va a poner catch, va a poner cuffed, right? He could have, entonces este lo deja igual, y aquí en vez de dar el nos, iría esto, de verde. Cuffed a bad hole. Oh. Huh? Ok. So, entonces le quedó así como Geraldine, este, la comenzó a decir, if you ask me, Billy, porque here you have Billy, shouldn't have laid baseball in the rain. Eso le dijo bien, este Geraldine. You are right. Esta sí. He could have porque valor no deja cut 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 ahí está ajá yeah, excellent very good thank you thank you okay that's nice uh, another uh, person for the number three uh, if you ask me and shouldn't have ridden uh -huh. ridden 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 her bicycle downtown during Good. rush hour. Hour, uh huh. You are You're right. right. She could gotten hurt. Uh huh. Yes, hurt. It hurt. 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 Okay. Excellent. Very good. He, she could have gotten hurt, or she coulda, she coulda gotten hurt. Okay. Excellent. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Uh, vamos a ver. Alguien más que quiera leerlas. One more volunteer. If you want to read them, please. Or it's okay. Hay alguien que las quiera leer de casualidad? Or we are going to move to the other activity. Yes. Hello, hello. Okay. So, uh, uh, okay. We are going to move to this activity that is a conversation. In this conversation, ah, uh, ya solo me quedan ocho minutos. <laughs> In this conversation, the attendance, you have... the attendance teacher. Ah, the attendance, right? Yes, you are right. Okay, so uh, the attendance today is the class fifteen, right? Híjole, no le cambié. Okay, Ana Yamilet. No, Ana. Present, no present. Oh, it's working. Send me a message if you are working or you are driving, right? Carlos José Asensio, working. Hello, Carlos José Asensio. Stephanie Saraí, she asked for permission, I remember. No, teacher, present. Ah, present, present, okay. <laughs> no invented, digamos. Okay, uh, Geraldine, <laughs> present, right? Ahí la vi. Uh, Ingrid Maricela mm -hmm. Flores Ramírez. Present. Oh, excellent, very good. Uh, Irma Adriana Segura, yes, right? Present. Joana Michel Cetino, she sent a message for permission. Uh, Jose Alejandro, the same. Juan David, it's raining. Is it still raining? Present teacher. Okay, Juan David. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Okay, uh, Kevin Josias, ask for permission too. Uh, Lucia Elena, present. Present teacher. Okay, Margarita Abigail Tobias. Ok, eh, Maritza Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Hello, Maritza. Merin Daniela, present, right? 
present teacher. Okay, milagro present. present. Okay. I'm I'm here. Here. Yes, milagro. Okay. Uh, Mirna Yanet Landos. Are you? Mirna Yanet Landos. Okay. Uh, who else? Monica Daniela Reyes. Yes, present. I saw her. Uh, Nelson is working. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Norma? Present yes, teacher. Okay, uh, present. Patricia. Okay, Patricia Esmeralda. Present. Okay, Patricia Margarita. Present. I'm here, teacher. Yes, Ronald, present, right, Ronald? Uh, Sandra yes, teacher, Elizabeth. Present, present, teacher. Thank you, Ronald. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. I am here. Okay, Stephanie Abigail. I think she has for permission. La única que no he marcado es Carlos José Asensio. is in the class. He's in, he's in the meeting. Yes? Yes, right. Okay, ahorita lo estoy buscando. Eh, y Ana Yamilet Hernández, o oh, ask for permission, I don't remember. Ana, 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 no, I don't see her. And, uh, Ana. Yes, WhatsApp. Okay, ah, oh, yes, okay. Eh, and, um, ¿quién es? Maritza, Maritza Daniela Ferranza. Okay. Present. Ah, okay, ahí está. Okay. Y la última que me faltaría sería Mirna Yanet Landos. Mirna Yanet Landos. Was, was here. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Patricia. Okay, let's okay. start. So right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this conversation. No sé si la ven bien. La ven blurry. A little bit, but, but we can read it. Okay, uh -huh. uh -huh. At least okay. I, I can read it. Okay, I should have, I should have married Stephen, it says, the conversation. I should have married Stephen. Why do you think that? What, why do you think that? Well, I might have, I might have, have children by now. Could be, but you never know. You might not have been happy. True, you are right. True. Okay, so uh, you have uh, uh, this conversation and you are going to, well, it's only going to four minutes. No, because I'm going to practice. So, but listen to the pronunciation one more time. I should have, I should have married sure. Stephen, right? Or I should have married Stephen. Yeah. Entonces, este se puede contractar y decir should have. Ahí les mandé un video con la pronunciación. Cuando tengan tiempo, lo ven este, con las diferentes pronunciaciones del should have, could have, el del would have, el might have, right? I should have married Stephen. Why do you think that? Well, I might have had your... <laughs> I might have had children by now. Could be, but you never know. You might not have been happy. True. Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation so far? No questions? Or no questions? Okay, Patricia Maritza. Okay, okay, Patricia Maritza. Okay, volunteers uh, for... Yes? Alguien quería decir algo? Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. estaba leyendo acerca de las contracciones y las reducciones. Yes. Y lo que había encontrado es que las contracciones sí es permitido escribirlas, pero las reducciones no. ¿Qué tan cierto es eso? Ah, uh, ok. Yes, in, inform in formal English. Ok. Eh, bueno, cuando digo formal English, me refiero a un inglés formal, ¿verdad? A un inglés eh, que va a ser una presentación que va a estar hablando con el presidente, va a estar hablando con el padre. Document. ¿Eh? And document, and document, legal documents. In legal documents, in informal situations, you cannot make those kind of contractions. Those contractions, kind of, sir. Ajá, you, no se Or reductions. Hacer. And reductions. Ajá, no oh. se pueden hacer ese tipo de... De, de abreviaciones, contracciones eh, pero en inglés coloquial en inglés familiar, en inglés con amigos usted sí las puede hacer y de hecho en las películas sale English Street que, bueno, es que el English Street es bien diferente es, es bien diferente o sea, es, es más vulgar también <ríe> así como en español, este, por ejemplo no es lo mismo que usted hable con eh, un Padre de iglesia que usted hable con este, con un qué, con un adolescente 
que usa vocabulario eso es, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. same vocabulary, it's not the same intonation, it's not the same contraction form, right? So it's different. Mm -hmm. It's different. Por ejemplo, la cuestión del uso de las muletillas en, esa, en esas situaciones, pero generalmente como, uh -huh. ah, generalmente como, you know, uh, yes, uh -huh. uh, uh, no, brother, uh -huh. brother, uh, just the girl, just the girl. Ajá. No sé ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, eh, o sea, este, sí se puede usar porque se usa. O sea, un americano las usa bastante, ¿verdad? Pero también, o sea, hay situaciones en las que no se pueden usar como eh, cosas legales, cosas importantes, o dependiendo también con la persona que usted está hablando. Al igual, al igual que el español, teacher. O sea. Ajá, exactly. Yes, exactly. What, okay. what is the difference between a reduction and contraction? The reduction is this, should I, should I. It's Eso not a no. contraction. And the contraction is the apostrophe. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, uh -huh. you, you can you can make uh, you can write that with a contraction. Is is in informal English? Yes. <laughs> Pero este el este el should have el could have uh -huh. el no, 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 it's not a contraction. Uh, no. Uh, uh -huh. You can see that's a contraction. Yes, but it's not it's not a formal English, right? But in, in spoken English, you can use them. But, but uh, when you say you, it's a contraction, you and have. Uh, uh, you. Uh, you and, and I, I thought what's the same, uh, mm -hmm. what's the same, like uh, should uh, and be, be a, with a contraction, be, be, be. no? Uh, yes, uh, but... Uh, for example, in these ones, uh, it's not very common to see the to see the in written to see the contraction. In this one, shira, shira, no, no, no es muy común ver shira contratado, pero hablado sí. Por ejemplo, en el caso del verbo auxiliar will, teacher, cuando se hace la contracción es más, eso sí se puede hacer, o sea, porque ya es más común o yes. está más aceptado. Ah, yes, exactly, yes, exactamente. Exactamente eso, ¿ok? Now, the homework for tomorrow mm -hmm. that I'm going to send you to you is uh, this one. Just give me one more minute. Ok, so, eh, so what are you going to do? Okay. So, you're going to, uh, alguien quiere, uh, ok, so you're going to, eh, es, es Carla Melissa, es Carla Melissa que tiene abierto el micrófono. <laughs> ok, ok, está bien. Okay, so you have uh, these, uh, contra these sentences. You are going to provide three possible reasons for each of the statements below. You may have, might have, must have, or could have. Follow the example. For example, John is late for dinner. ¿Sí lo pueden ver? Can you see it? Yes, yes. 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 Okay, John is late for dinner, right? This is the sentence. He might have gotten stuck in traffic or and he, ma he must not have taken his cell phone, or he couldn't have had an important meeting at work. Okay, le va a dar una como una posible razón. Aquí dice que son tres posibles razones, pero solo una de ellas. Solo una posible razón eh, mm -hmm. como para responder a esa situación, ¿verdad? Okay, for example, John is late for dinner. John eh, ya viene tarde para cenar. Y entonces le da, he might have, he must not have, he could have, have, using this uh, past models, right? Ma may have, or might have, must have, or could have, right? Okay? So, it's clear. Entramos en el, en el espacio del supositorio, teacher. Están suponiendo. Uh -huh. lo puedo ver su... <laughs> yes, you have to assume. Uh -huh. You have to assume a possible uh, reason for this situation. Is clear? Yeah, yes. yes. Okay, okay, so, okay, I'm gonna send this picture to the WhatsApp group. Le voy a mandar esta imagen al grupo de WhatsApp para que, la, para que tenga la tarea. Okay, if you don't have more questions, so see you Teacher, tomorrow. Teacher, mañana última clase? Yes, yeah. tomorrow is the last class. Yes. Teacher, ¿y es posible que podamos solicitar que usted siga con nosotros para el siguiente curso? Sí, creo que en el... Uh, en creo el, que hay algún coordinador ahí en el... Sí, o sea, por, para, o sea, para, para no hacerlo, o sea, no... <risa> ah, ahí en el, en el grupo. Ay, no. 
para no qué. Ah, no, mentira, teacher, mentira. No, ah, o sea, okay. para, so, para solicitarlo a usted, o sea, es que, es que sí, o sea, se, le, se tiene ese dinamismo y esa disposición y estar dando material y todo eso, o sea, es hasta nuevo para nosotros hasta cierto punto. Bueno, en mi caso es mío, ¿no? Ah, ok. Sí. Okay. Hablo por mí, no hablo por los demás, no voy a hacer que después digan, no, Olga ya estaba diciendo eso. Ok, eh, allí a los administradores del grupo, en el grupo de WhatsApp, hay unos administradores, eh, a cualquiera de ellos les puede hacer la consulta. Ajá. Ok, gracias, teacher. Thank you. So, see you tomorrow. Take care. Sweet dreams, Olga. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Ok, have a nice night as well. Bye bye, take care. Bye bye. Ahí explico la tarea, Stephanie, en el WhatsApp.